sashin Hausa na BBC ke magana akan mita 25:31 ko a shafin mu na bbchausa.com Ma saurare assalamu alaikum rabi'a ta kabarin ka ce ke fatan kun waye gari lafiya a cikin shirin namu na karfe 6 da rabi agogon Najeriya da Niger biye da rabi agogon GMT da Ghana za ku ji cewa a Amurka JD Vance ya amince da takarar mataimakin shugaban kasar a gagarar min tare Jam'iyyar Republican Amurka ta ci an kara wa'adin tsagai ta wuta domin kai kayan agaji a gabashin Jamhuriyar Demokradiyar Congo a Najeriya masana siyasa sun fara tofa albarkacin bakin su kan matakin majalisar dattijan kasar na daukar mataki kan duk wanda ya soki lamirin gwamnati kin jami'a da akan san bambanci ra'ayi bambanci bambanci a cikin jami'ar Labour ta Ingla shi yasa ake ta samu canje shugabannin jami'ar balle ma APC ga mun ga visa ce a jamhuriyar Niger yan kasar ne yake kokawa kan halin matsar rayuwa da suke fuskanta abin da yake bani mamaki a yau matsalar da akwai yau kake iya sayan abu dala 100 gobe in kada wasu a ce ma ya kai 140 ko 160 to ma dalla ma kafin wadannan da ma wasu rahotannin sai na fara da karantu muku labaran duniya mutumin da Donald Trump ya zaba domin ya zame masa mataimakin shugaban kasa JD Vance ya amince da takarar mataimakin shugaban kasar Amurka ga garamin taron jam'iyyar Republican and so tonight Mr Chairman I officially accept your nomination to be Vice President of the United States of America Yace to a daren nan ga ni tsaye a gaban ka jagora ina mai sheda maka na amince da takarar da ka tsaye da ni a matsayin mataimakin shugaban kasar Amurka. JD Vance ya gabatar da jawabi inda ya soki jam'iyyar shugaba Biden da cin hanci da rashawa kan tsaye da kamfanonin kasar na biliyoyin daloli tare da bada ayyukan ma'aikatun Amurka ga kasar Mexico da China. Yace Donald Trump dai zai yi tsayin daka wajen tallafawa masana'antun cikin gida tare da ceto kasar daga halin kangi da take ciki. Kafofin ya da labaran Amurka sun bada rahoton cewa manyan jagororin jam'iyyar Democrat sun bukaci shugaba Biden da ya janye daga takarar shugaban kasar da yake a Karo na biyu saboda fargabar da suke da ita na cewa jam'iyyar su ka iya rasarin jaye a dukkan majalisun kasar tsohuwar kakakin majalisar Nancy Pelosi da shugaban masu rinjaye a majalisar dattawa Hakim Jeffries sun ce sun tattauna da shugaban kasar a cikin kwanakin nan a faltering performance in last month's presidential debate raised questions about the BBC ke ne yake cewa rashin nuna karsashi da ta buka a bankirki a mahawarar yan takara ya sanya ana shako kan cancantar Biden din yanzu haka dai shugaba Biden ya kamu da cutar corona wani alkali a New York ya zargi tsohon lauya kuma mai ba Donald Trump shawara Rudy Giuliani kan zuwa babban taron jam'iyyar Republican yayin da yake kauce biyan bashin da ake bin sa Alƙalin Sean Lane ya ce bai san abin da zai yi ba nan gaba saboda rashin bada hadin kan Mr. Giuliani ga kotun Mr. Giuliani dai ya shigar da bukatar tallafin bayan da aka umarce shi da ya biya wasu ma'aikatan zabe da Amurka kusan miliyan 150 saboda bata masu suna da yayi to labaran duniya na zuwa muku ne daga nan sashin Hausa na BBC Yan jam'iyyar Republican a majalisar dokokin Amurka da suka halarci taron da hukumar binciken manyan laifuka da hukumar tabbatar da tsaron shugaban kasa suka yi kan yunkurin halaka tsohon shugaban kasa Donald Trump sun bayyana taron da mara amfani Director hukumar Kimba Kimbali Chitil ta amince da bada bayani da shaidu a gaban committee majalisar a ranar litinin kakakin majalisar Mike Johnson ya yi kira ga Chitil ta yi murabuz multiple investigations into what went wrong are continuing and of course you know there are demands Wakili ya BBC ta ce ana ce gaba da bincike kashi kashi kan lamarin yayin da Republican din ke bukatar amsoshi kan yadda abin ya faru Amurka ta ce an kara wa'adin tsagai ta wuta domin kai kayan agaji a gabashin Jamhuriyar Demokradiyar Congo kwana 15 ne aka kara wato daga yanzu zuwa farkon watan Agusta Father White House tayi mara bada matakin sakamakon yadda kungiyoyin agaje a kasar ke bayyana halin da ake ciki da mafi muni da kuma fargabar cewa da kitchen ka iya bazuwa zuwa kasashe makwabta kungiyar yan tawayen M23 da ruwan da ke tallafa ma wa sun kaddamar da harahara arewacin Larin Kivu ta shekaru biyu da suka gabata inda suka ansha iko da wasu yankuna tare da raba kusan mutum miliyan 3 da muhallan su to karshen labaran duniyar kenan daga nan BBC to madalla bayan labaran duniyar yanzu kuma sai rahotannin da shirin yake dauke da su 
Mutumin da Donald Trump ya zaba domin ya zame masa mataimakin shugaban kasa a zaben Amurka da za a yi watan nuwan ba JD Vance ya gabatar da jawabi a babban taron jam'iyyar su ta Republican inda yayi ta koda Mr Trump kuma ya bayyana shi a matsayin mai cetan Amurka da ta zama cikin wani hali na kaka na kai gara hotan Muhammad Anur Muhammad da majalisar da tawon na Ohio JD Vance wanda ya gabatar da jawabi na karbar mukamin abokin takarar ta Donald Trump Ya yi fitarsa ta kasa ta farko ke na a rana ta uku ta babban taron jam'iyyar ta su ta Republican da ke gudana a Milwaukee. Mr. Vance ya kwarzanta Trump tare da bayyana shi a matsayin wanda ya kasance shugaban Amurka a baya kuma shugaba na gaba. Vance ya kuma cecceki shugaba Biden da wadanda ya kira gurbatattun kusoshi da yace sun lalata Amurka ta hanyar cefanar da ita ga manyan kamfanonin duniya tare da mayar da guraben ayyuka ga China da Mexico. Yace shugabancin Trump zai tallafa a kamfanonin Amurka da kirkiro sabbin ayyuka da inganta albashi tare da gudanar da mulki ga ma'aikaci amma ba kasuwar hannun jari ta New York ba. Mr. Vance ya bayyana amincewar sa da zaben da aka yi masa na zama mataimakin dan takara. And so tonight Mr. Chairman I stand here humble. Yace to a daren nan ya shugaba ina tsaye a nan cikin girmamawa kuma ina cike da farin ciki da godiya da cewa na karbi zaben da aka yi min na kasancewa mataimakin shugaban Amurka. Your nomination to be Vice President of the United States of America. Vance mai shekara 39 take zaman karamin sanata ya kasance mutun na farko da aka haifa tsakanin farko farkon shekarun 1980 zuwa ƙarshe ƙarshen 1990 da ya samu tikitin takara a babbar jam'iyya wanda hakan yasa ya kasance matashi mai wannan matsayi sabanin Trump mai shekara 78 da kuma shugaba Biden mai 81 a matsayin sa na mataimakin Trump Mr Vance ya kasance kenan zaben farko na zaben jam'iyyar sa na shugaban kasa a 2028 idan rai ya kai to amma duk da haka ba ko ne a fagen siyasa ga yawancin Amurkawa da kuma galibin yan jami'ar sa ta Republican dan tsohon shugaban kasar wato Donald Trump Jr ya kasance aboki na kudda kud ga Mr Vance rahotan da Muhammad Anur Muhammad ya hada mana kenan to yanzu kuma bari mu nufi Nigeria inda ake ci gaba da ji mamin mutuwar yara 22 a Jos babban birnin jihar Plateau wadanda suka rasu sakamakon rugujiwar ginin makaranta Yara sama da 130 ne suka jikkata har yanzu dai ba a san dalilin faruwar lamarin ba sai dai ana ci gaba da bincike gwamnatin jihar ta shawarci dukkan sauran makarantu da ke da matsala da gine-ginen su da sarifinan take wakilin BBC Chris Woko ya ziyarci Jos din ya kuma tattauna da iyalan daya daga cikin wadanda lamarin ya rutsa da su Chidera mai shekara 16 ga kuma Abdul Halilu da fassarar rahotan sa It's too bitter. It's too bitter to me and my family. Lamarin babu dadi, babu dadi ko kadan. Gare ni da kuma iyalaina. Cike unubu na zanne akan kujera bakin kofi gidan shi a garin Jos na jihar Plateau da ke tsakiyar Najeriya. Ya nuna mini fotan dan shi Chidera a lokacin da yake karamin yaro. Na tambaye shi, Chidera na da shekara nawa ne a lokacin da aka yi wannan foto? Yes. Like now, this is the graduation. One of hotel ayishi ni lo kachende kama la makaranta. Chidera na da shikarugo mashashida alo kachende rasa aranshi atikimu ya changhali na rugu jewe gini a makaranta su sen akademik agarinjos babumbaranjar plato. Gina mehawabiu na tukeda aruruan alubai diki karatu atiki. Gina ra ta ruguje ne a lokacin da suke doka darasu da safe. Chidera na daya daga cikin yara dalibai 22 da suka rasa rayi kansu. Akalla wasu daliban 132 sun samu raunuka. Mahaifiya Chidera Blessing Onobo na tarin da lokacin na farko da ta samu wannan mugun labari na ruguje wa Gina. My younger brother called. I did I hear that the my children's school collapsed. I even ran out like a mad woman when I reached it. Karaman kani na ya kirari. Ya na chi wako na sa mula baare makaran tar da ya rana siki karatu taru guji. Na pata aguji kamar ma tar da ta sa mta ba mankali. No ga chinde na jewura si na tabba tar da gas kira abende paru. Ina kuka, ina adu aga alla. De me do da rayi war dana. De me do da rayi war wat enda seka mutu. Seka sanchi a rayi. Da le bayi da dama basa putu da dana ba. Blessing tichi. Ta jira sa'o ida dama do munta ga danta ya fito da rai. Aloka chenda ansa kai ki aiki tukuru wajan nima a karka shinkan kare. Sede kuma suna barda bayanai mara sadadi. Then I brought him was lifeless. 
bayan sa'o'i sai aka tono shi ba shi da rai a lokacin da naje asibiti san sanar da cewa yana dakin aje gawa naje dakin ajiye gawar na ganshi a mace gwamnatin jihar ta plato ta sanar da cewa ana gudanar da bincike na keke da keke ta kuma sanar da cewa ginar makaranta ba ta da inganci kuma makaranta an gina ta ne a wurin da ba shi da nagarta kusa da gabar kogi to sai dai bata tabbatar da abin da ya hadasa rugujo ginar ba yar oci dera shi sun na a cikin aji a wannan rana da ginar ta rugujo we came to school we finished the assembly I and my brother went to our class. Mun zo makaranta. Mun je taron hadaka na azuzuwa. Ni da dan uwana. Mun kare karatu. Kimanin mun tibiyar sai gini ya fadi. Malama na cikin ajin mu na koyarwa. Sai ta fita waje. Sai kuma dai daga cikin ajin mu ya kira ta mayeta da ta gabango ya tsage a cikin ajin mu. Sai ta ce duk wanda ke baya su dawo ka ba. Wani da yake baya ya jawo kujera kenan sai ginin ya fadi. ina kallo a lokacin da ginin ke faduwa sai na shiga kashi kujera ta wannan shine taimake ni a najeriya so tari an samu rushe gine gine a yan shekarun nan masu sa irin na sanar da cewa wannan na da halaka ne da rashin aiki na gari da amfani da kayayyakin da ba su da inganci da kuma can hanci to sai dai gwamnatin plato ta bada sammaci da dukkan makarantun da aka gina irin waɗannan wurare da su rufe ba ta raba ta lokaci ba domin tabbatar da cewa irin wannan barna ba ta sake faruwa ba har abadan abada a gaida Abdul Halilu da fassarar rahoton Chris Woko to har yanzu dai muna Najeriya inda yanzu haka akwai alamun rashin jituwa da kuma zaman ƴan marana a tsakanin waɗansu ƴan majalisar da tijan kasar sakamakon cire mai tsawatarwa na majalisar sanata Muhammad Ali Indumi bayane sun nuna cewa sanatoci daga arewacin Najeriya sun so mu wani yunkuri na hada kansu waje guda ganin cewa duk wanda ya soki gwamnatin Tinubu ana sa kafa a shure shi a baya ma an dakatar da sanata Abdul Ningi daga zauran majalisar sakamakon zargin cewa an yi tushe a kasafin kudin kasar zargin da majalisar ta musanta ga rahoton da Bahar Muhammad Fage ya hada mana ma'abuta shafi kansa da zumunta sun yi ta tafka zazzafar muhawara a tsakanin su sakamakon zargin da suka yi cewa majalisar dokokin kasar na cikin aljihun bangaren zartarwa kasar karkashin jagorancin shugaba Bola Ahmad Tinubu matasa da dama sun soki irin yadda ba zato ba tsammani aka cire senator Muhammad Ali Indume daga mukamin sa na mai tsawatarwa saboda kalaman da yayi kan tsadar rayuwa da gwamnatin APC ta ce bata ji dadin su ba abun da wadansun suke cewa gwamnatin APC ba ta iya jure wasu ka duk kuwa da cewa da dama a cikin yan kasar na ganin cewa ana gasa musu aya a hannu sakamakon tsadar rayuwa da ke karuwa tun bayan hawan gwamnatin Tinubu da kuma yadda aka cire tallafin mai ba tare da wani tanadi na rage wa yan kasar radadi ba Dr. Abubakar Umar Kari malami ne a jami'ar Abuja kuma masanin kimiyar siyasa ya bayyana min yadda yake kallon lamarin ita demokradiya an kafa ta kan wasu jinshikai da daga cikin su kuma shine yancin fadin ra'ayi Asali ma abinda yake bambanta mulkin soja da mulkin mulka da sauran mulki da demokradiya shine kashin tafarkin demokradiya akan sakarwa kowa mara ya fadi ra'ayin sa to saboda haka idan Muhammadu Ali Indume wanda hamshakin dan siyasa ne kuma mai rikir babban mukami ya fadi ra'ayi ya kuma rasa mukamin sa a majalisa to wannan ya zama na kasu ga tafarkin demokradiya Dr. Kari ya kara da cewa abin da Sanata Ali Indimi yayi ba bako bane a siyasa kuma a irin haka yana faruwa a cikin jami'a da yakan san bambanci ra'ayi a cikin jami'ar Republican ta Amurka Allah misali lokacin Donald Trump yake mulki akwai yan jami'an sa wanda suke sukan sa kwarai da gaske kusan ma fiye da yan Democrat yan adawa sa'an nan bambance bambance a cikin jami'ar Labour ta England shi yasa ake ta samun canje shugabannin jami'ar wato akwai masu tsoron ra'ayi akwai masu matsancin ra'ayi akwai masu ra'ayin mazanjiya duka a cikin jami'a daya balle ma APC wanda kowa sun cewa gamun gambi za ce ko a cikin watan Maris sai da majalisar da tijan Najeriya ta dakatar da Senator Abdul Ningi daga jihar Bauchi na watanni uku sakamakon hirarsa da yayin da BBC Hausa inda yayin zargin cewa an cusa makudan kudade a cikin kasafin kudin kasar ba tare da an fayyace irin ayyukan da za a yi da su ba 
ko da yake majalisar ta musanta wannan babban zargi amma masu shari'i kan al'amuran yau da kullum sun nuna cewa akwai alamar tambaya akan yadda ake aiwatar da kasafin kudin kasar tun bayan hawan bola Ahmad Tunubu kan karagan mulki a shekarar 2023 tattalin arzikin Najeriya ya kamu da masassara inda hawa farashin kayayyaki yake addabar al'umma kasar wanda galibun su suke yin wayo Allah rana zafi in wakuna Buhari Muhammad Fagi BBC Hausa Abuja Nigeria to dangane da wannan batun ga wannan sanarwar Ra'ayi riga kowa da irin tasa A cikin wannan mako majalisar dattijan Najeriya ta kwace makamin sanata Ali Indume na mai tsawatarwa tare da rage masa girma saboda wasu kalamai da yayi kan gwamnati da bai wa jami'ar sa dadi ba wannan ba shi bane karan farko da ake daukan irin wannan mataki ko makamancin sa kan dan majalisa saboda wani furici da ake gani ko zargin rashin dacewa me hakan yake nufi ga yan cincin gashin kan majalisar dokokin Najeriya me hakan ke nufi ga aikan sa ido da kamata a ce majalisar dokokin ta riƙa yawa bangaren zartarwa ina mukomar yan cin fadin albarkacin baki a demokradiyar Najeriya wadannan na cikin batutuwan da muke fatan tattaunawa a cikin shirin mu na ra'ayi riga na wannan makon to domin shiga cikin shirin da zai zo maku gobe da da cewa na karbi zabin da aka yi min na kasancewa mata da dukkan makarantun da aka gina irin wannan wurare da su rufe ba ta raba ta lokaci ba domin tabbatar da cewa irin wannan barna ba ta sake faruwa ba har abadan abada a gaida Abdul Halilu da fassarar rahoton Chris Uwoko to har yanzu dai muna Najeriya inda yanzu haka akwai alamun rashin jituwa da kuma zaman yan marana tsakanin wadansu yan majalisar dattijan kasar sakamakon cire mai tsawatarwa na majalisar sanata Muhammad Ali Indumi bayanai sun nuna cewa sanatoci daga arewacin Najeriya sun so mu wani yunkuri na hada kansu waje guda ganin cewa duk wanda ya soki gwamnatin Tinubu ana sa kafa a shure shi a baya ma an dakatar da sanata Abdul Ningi daga zauran majalisar sakamakon zargin cewa an yi tushe a kasafin kudin kasar zargin da majalisar ta musanta ga rahoton da Bahar Muhammad Fage ya hada mana Maabo ta shafi kansa da zumunta sun yi tattafka zazzafar muhawara a tsakanin su sakamakon zargin da suka yi cewa majalisar dokokin kasar na cikin aljihun bangaren zartarwa kasar karkashin jagorancin shugaba Bola Ahmad Tunubu matasa da dama sun soki irin yadda ba za to ba tsammani aka cire Senata Muhammad Ali Indume daga mukamin sa na mai tsawatarwa saboda kalaman da yayi kan tsadar rayuwa da gwamnatin APC ta ce bata ji dadin su ba abun da wadansu suke cewa gwamnatin APC ba ta iya jure wasu ka dukkan da cewa da dama a cikin yan kasar na ganin cewa ana gasa musu aya a hannu sakamakon tsadar rayuwa da ke karuwa tun bayan hawan gwamnatin Tunubu da kuma yadda aka cire tallafin mai ba tare da wani tanadi na rage wa yan kasar radadi ba Dr Abubakar Umar Kari malami ne a jami'ar Abuja kuma masanin kimiya siyasa ya bayyana min yadda yake kallon lamarin ita demokradiya an kafa ta kan wasu jinshikai daya daga cikin su kuma shine yancin fadin ra'ayi asali ma abin da yake bambanta mulkin soja da mulkin mulka da sauran mulki da demokradiya shine kashin tafarkin demokradiya akan sakaro kowa mara ya fadi ra'ayin sa to saboda haka idan muhammadu alu indume wanda hamshakin dan siyasa ne kuma mai rikir babban mukami ya fadi ra'ayi ya kuma rasa mukamin sa a majalisa to wannan ya zama na kasu ga tafarkin demokradiya dr kari ya kara da cewa abin da sanata ali indimi yayi ba bako bane a siyasa kuma irin haka yana faru a cikin jami'a da yakan san bambancin ra'ayi a cikin jami'ar republican ta amurka alan misali lokacin donald trump yake mulki akwai yan jami'ar sa wanda suke sukan sa kwarai da gaske kusan mafiya da yan democrat 
yan adawa sa'annan bambanci bambanci a cikin jam'iyar labor ta ingila shi yasa ake ta samu canje shugabannin jam'iyar wato akwai matsayin tsoron ra'ayi akwai masu matsayin ra'ayi akwai masu ra'ayin mazanjiya duka a cikin jam'iya daya balle ma APC wanda kowa sun cewa gamun gambi za ce ko a cikin watan maris sai da majalisar da tijan najeriya ta dakatar da sanata abdul ningi daga jahar bauchi